Jennifer, for that musical interlude. Here we are at Moments from Our Deck, Campfire 101. We're going to cover uh, the three things we're going to cover about the importance of having a deep pit, fire, and then reflective heat, what that's all about. The first thing is, is when you have a pit, shovel, and unlike the Three Stooges movies, it's not funny when you hit someone in the head with a shovel. So always be careful. But well, you want to dig out your pit. And the reason is, is you want to have plenty of air. It gets rid of all the wet stuff from the people before. And also helps when the wind picks up, it doesn't throw ashes everywhere. So always bring a shovel, even if it's a little campfire shovel that you keep in the back of your car. Second thing is heat. Until Diamond Matches answers my emails, it's brought to you by Diamond Matches. We're going to demonstrate heat again. Jennifer decided to have a torch. Okay, a torch. We make fire! And one tip about lighting a match, if you put your finger next to it, it won't break the match. <laughs> that worked well. Take two. And to prove that we do have fire, Jennifer, you want to do the sage? She said, let's get some sage and burn it so you can see there's actually a flame there. Go right ahead. It's the only way to light sage. It's the only way to light sage. Why do we use sage? That's a story for another day. Oh, it's live. Why is there a bell on the end? Well, that's another story for another day. Before anyone else gets burned, we're going to turn off the flame. Why did I light the flame? Because you want to be careful with heat. <laughs> the nice thing about heat, though, is that early settlers would always put rocks around their fire. And the reason they put rocks around is what do rocks do? Radiate heat. They radiate heat because a lot of people would keep rocks by their campfire to keep them warm at night. And the nice thing is, is after the fire goes out, depending on the size of the rock, we didn't want to steal too many from Connie's garden, so we just picked some little ones. But if you have some pretty good sized rocks, it'll stay warm for a long time. And it helps keep the fire from spreading, too. That's right. The third thing is about, and we're going to talk about radiant heat. What did we say last time about bark? Bark normally doesn't work very well unless it's dry. dry. And that's dry. The nice thing about radiant heat, though, is we take our logs. If this is our campfire right here, this red clown nose, and this is our rock, good job. We put the logs on the outside for two reasons. One, if they're already dry, it heats them up and makes sure they're tinder dry. Two, if they're wet, it dries them out ahead of time. And then that way you've got really, when you go to put a log on the fire, it's actually dry and it won't just sit there and smolder and create smoke like that. So again, the three things are, use a shovel to dig out your pit. Don't hit anyone on the head. Second thing is, when you light them, campfire with your diamond match always hold it close that way you won't get a broken match and the third thing is radiant heat why is it important to have radiant heat Jen because it keeps the fire warm and helps prevent forest fires and it keeps the women by the with a campfire too they don't go off because they're cold so you've got conversation like me there you go so again thanks for joining us on moments from our deck we're glad you're here and Jennifer made the, uh, the musical intro on her saxophone. Those are all toys of mine that I've still kept. Thank you for joining Moments from Our Deck.